reported today in The Verge. What makes an electric scooter a hyperscooter? To start, a $5,000 price tag. Hypercar is a term often used to describe cars with specs and price tags so extreme, so outside the realm of what's on display at your average dealership that calling it a supercar, already a totally fine description that gets its point across without too much hyperbole, somehow falls short. So what does it mean when the prefix hyper is applied to a vehicle of more modest standing, like an electric scooter? For D-Fly Group, a London-based transportation company, it means bringing automotive-grade manufacturing, advanced materials, cutting-edge engineering and technology to the micromobility sector. The company claims to have done that with its new e-scooter, the Dragonfly. Sorry, not e-scooter, hyperscooter. What makes it a hyperscooter? Apparently, its premium materials, like carbon fiber, 7000 series aerospace-grade aluminum, and polonia wood. It's a powertrain with dual motors and a top speed of 38 miles per hour, traction control to give each wheel 5,000 watts, and a generous amount of torque. It's the option to upgrade to a long-range battery pack for up to 28.5 miles of range. And a patent-pending full-tilt steering technology, inspired by F1 racing, that uses three-dimensional tilt and twist controls on a central pillar. The scooter's 4.5-inch display is ultra-high definition 4K, of course, and it allows customers to access various apps and view their speed or turn-by-turn -turn GPS directions after pairing to a smartphone via Bluetooth. Speaking of Bluetooth, the Dragonfly also sports a high-quality sound system because what good is a hyper-scooter if you can't blast beats while zipping along at 38 miles per hour? Here's a photo of the hyper-scooter chilling in a cafe. But no hyper-scooter would be complete without a ridiculous price tag, and the Dragonfly has that covered. The base model, three-wheeled version starts at $5,000, with the four-wheeled version creeping up to $6,000. Throw in a few options, and you can see how this starts to get absurd. DFly says it will release full pricing closer to the launch date in the mid-2020s. For comparison, the Segway ES2 will run you about $479 on Amazon. I've even seen a few scooters crack $3,000, but never anything like this. A word of warning before you plunk down, refundable, $100 for a pre-order, the electric scooter market is incredibly volatile right now. Many of the e-scooters for sale today are Chinese-made models that are being rebadged and sold to Western consumers at a markup. That's not terrible by itself, but it has created something of an uneven market for startups. Some companies flop before they even ship a single scooter, leaving customers to scramble to get their money back. DFly was started by Jez Williman, a British entrepreneur who led one of the world's largest crow. For more on this story, visit the news article link.